Hey there, Selective Collective. This is Kim here to do a reading. I'm just going to pull a few cards for you tonight. I want to make sure that I get something out there for everyone uh, for this weekend. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for liking and uh, put my love out to you. For, I love the comments. Please do comment. I love it. It makes me happy. <laughs> it, it gives me, it fuels me. It's like energy here for these readings. So keep it up. Thank you so much. And if you would like a private reading, I have three different prices. That's in the description box, $22 to $60. You basically can ask me whatever the hell you really want to know from Spirit. And I will ask it and allow the uh, messages to just channel through me. <clears throat> So as we're angels here, let's get some messages, please, for the Selective Collective to let them know what's going on. And my heart goes out to those who have been affected by the uh, hurricane. Um, the flooding was really bad. It feels like um, oh, much worse. We're finding out that it's much worse. So we need um, to send that love, send that compassion out to everybody that's in that in that situation or that's had to deal with that okay so let's move right along empty nest it says moving on <laughs> moving right along no one home cycle completion emptiness final endings beginnings the boy vacant separation making adjustments lonely new life and graduation i also have the coin toss number two the coin toss is it can be either or you also have the butterfly effect. So there's a big, big pointer saying, careful because everything that we do has a ripple effect. Careful in, in the best way possible. Um, unpredictable at this time. It may feel like something is taking a chance or like you're taking a chance on something. Man, some of you all have really gone through it. With Jack and Diane, heartbreak, interference, sorrow, grief, a funk, sadness, crisis emotional pain <clears throat> some people a breakup that's a song i think that's a song tom petty maybe maybe you can correct me if i'm wrong but i think tom petty fortress fortitude staying power stubborn sealed off aloof prepared it's your backbone here true grit and you have what it takes so something may have been a let down and we're moving past it is what Spirit's saying. Is that even if something was a letdown, we're moving past it. And remember, you're building your fortress here. Um, you're still strong. You're pulling out of any kind of optical illusion where something was not as it seems. Either a person was not as it seems. Or there was some kind of confusion. There was a head trip of some kind. Mm, and then I have the knight on the bottom. Confident, heroic, messenger. Fearless, assertive, passionate, fighting spirit. All right, so we're moving. It feels like we're moving on from these energies, but still in our fortress that we have built, still with that firm foundation, right? Ah, oh, that's sweet. Okay, I have Anam Kara, unconditional love, romance, soulmates. Uncommon bond, devoted, always, tenderness, timeless, constant affection, best friends, appreciation, unchanging and infinite love. I also have child, the fixed signs here, um, which we associate, associate in tarot, you know, with the world card and the wheel, the wheel of fortune, fixed, stubborn, inner child, do what you love, exploration, boundless energy, time to play, demanding attention, tireless, love to learn imagination delight in simple things and then the wheel comes out so truly there is something good that is turning for you I have the cat which might be advice because the cat is very independent unbothered like it doesn't bother me nothing's bothering me at this time don't let it bother you or don't let it look like it's bothering you this is not my problem <clears throat> To disengage and it can be talking about disengaging from whatever this optical illusion was 
right? Um, here's your shield. So always have our shield up, you know, to protect ourselves with defensive, protect, support, safeguard, block, guardian, stand up for, ward off unwanted energies, be on guard and withstand. Okay, I also have wheel of karma, karma, dharma, destined, inevitable, cause and effect, divine intervention, cycles, luck, fortune, rise and fall, circumstance, consequence, divine will, and blind justice. Now we're getting to the good stuff, guys. <laughs> I have grapes. Abundance, bearing fruit, harvest, fertility, merriment, prosperity, surplus, fullness, juicy, overindulged, tempting, goodness, plentiful, wealth, enjoy the fruits of your labor. And another thing about the, chi the child keeps wanting to pop out, the child energy. This is nice. Because now I have childhood. It's, it's really like saying get, get into that. Uh, be like a child. Be as a child. Hmm. Innocence, playful, growing, friendship, lightness of being, foundations, need of others. Well, especially if I, what we're all going through. Definitely there's a need of others, right? The hammock here says that you may be waiting or be feel like you're suspended in between two things at this time. And it may be necessary for you to like disengage, take some time out, go within, do some whatever meditation, stretching, relaxation, however you like to relax. Um, the emerald is bringing in healing, fertility, eternity, reflection, humility, sexuality, rare, peace, soul restoration. That's interesting. Free-flowing love, mature love, heart chakra. Sap says resources, needed materials, flow, wealth, essence of life, spring, blood, nourishment, sweetness, energy, vitality, grounded, physical health, your roots, abundant, and life force. Abundant life force. Scuba Diver says, going within, observation, zero point, meaning that, like everything could change very soon here. Everything could change. Deep, deep reflection, also disengage or disconnection is um, another message that ties to that. And then I have bedroom, se has sexual fulfillment, intimacy, sensual pleasure, love affair, sleep, contentment, leisure, nap, sleep on it, alone time, oasis, retiring, dream time, astral travel, and call it a day. Okay. Okay. And then here, that'll be it from that deck. Let's see. <laughs> uh. Oh man, that's a lot to fall. Curtain call, acclaim, fame, recognition, celebrity, parade, admiration, applause, show, appreciation, in the spotlight, focused attention. The curtain call. So it is the curtain call. Are you ready? Are you ready? You're the main character here. I have chocolate satisfaction perfection love romance treating yourself sweet rich smooth splurging aphrodisiac the good stuff celebration and an elevated mood and this is all very likely so whatever you had gone through things are going to change it is likely to take a turn and to change for the better let's pull a rune for you also for the selective collective, the ones that decide to come and show up here, 6-6. Six, six. I have Health, Headstrong, Uraz, Unstoppable. You've gotten that a few times here now. With the Fortress, I have Staying Power, Ready for Anything, Unbreakable. And this says Unstoppable. Physical Strength, Healing, that's the Emerald. Breaking through obstacles, fearless in most situations, strong male energy. So it could be about um, what actions to take here too. Is the bison? Is the theme? Is the uras? Okay. And then we also have 
Which one is this? Lagoos, water, intuition, emotional, cleansing, flowing, life, and movement. Developing intuition, attuning, attuning with currents, cleansing rituals, initiations, and blessing. The life-giving strength of water, looking deep into the depths for information. Cleansing with clean flowing energy and let the current guide you. And then I've, the wild uh, card, the weird, weird, fate card, the fate card with the karma cards makes sense. Um, the wheel, wild card, possibility, karma, conceal, unclear, secrecy, inspiration. Seek, look, seeking deeper insight. I think these go together. Seeping, seeking deep, deeper insight, concealment, seeking inspiration, inviting possibilities, be prepared for the unexpected. A blank canvas. Anything is possible. Patience, because nothing is available at this time, right? At this exact time. Well, you're going through all of this. So you're asking, they're asking you to go within and be strong, right? Cloak your thoughts, feelings, and intuition and intentions. Well, this has to do with shielding yourself. Hmm. So some type of secrecy to keep it to you, especially keep something to you if you think that it is, um, like if you get a hit with your intuition and you're like, I know this is going to happen, I feel it in my bones, right? Don't tell everybody else at the moment. Blank expression, reveal nothing. Look deeper here and then what else is here? Interesting, interesting. And what else? Should we pull, look, let's pull from this. Oh my goodness, I'm making a mess behind me. That's all right. That's all right. Pull from the cryon deck. Cryon is a, a chan. It's an energy that is channeled by Lee Carroll, and this these are his cards. So that's what I'm pulling from. And um, we'll probably wrap up with this. It's just a quick message for your weekend. Wow, soul perfection, compassionate action, benevolent change. And I will actually look at these. And that one, that one right here. Jeez, I keep making a mess. Okay, it's all right, it's all right. This is going hand in hand with soul restoration, I think. Um, but the, the actual channel is to let you know that you're perfect in every way. Your soul is perfect in every way. This is like the stage and this is an avatar. And so you just need to know that your soul on the soul level is already perfect. Soul perfection. Be ready for benevolent change. Some of you all really need to pay attention to your water or drinking water. I always see kidneys when I see this. I mean, of course, we could see like a womb too maybe, but kidneys I see more than anything. You are never alone. It is spirit. It is your spirit team, your angels, your guides trying to tell you that um, even, and especially with all this heart warming um, green or emerald, you are never alone. At this time, you are never alone. You have a lot of spiritual support. Now more than ever, especially with um, what's going on with the disasters, okay? It just There's no other word for it. A natural disaster, there's a need for compassionate action. So what is that compassionate action? It's when you, uh, you use your compassion and you actually, if you're in the spot where you can help, if you're in that position and then to do so, that would be like action taken because it's coming from a, from the compassion and the love in your heart that you have for others and others well-being as we are all one. Okay, Akashic Lineage. Wow, this is a big one because this one is kind of saying that, you know, you are that Akashic Lineage of God, the Divine, your angels. If you um, or, or maybe you're wondering, uh, are you part of like an angelic bloodline? I would say probably most definitely or related to um, biblical characters. Like there's something very um, spiritual. There's a, a strong lineage with the people that show up to this. F to get that card, there certainly is. And then I'm also noticing the um, the blue. It's almost coming out like um, in different spurts. 
Um, so something that you need to say, what's really interesting about that. I love this card. I absolutely love this card because I don't know if you can really see all that well, but you have like what looks to me like a warrior. It could be a male or a female, but it looks like somebody with like a warrior hat on right here. Oh, I wish you could see that a little bit better. So it's like a warrior hat. There we go. And, um, they have like their arms around uh, a, a child or another energy. And so this also goes, so it's talking about the lineage and it's also talking about um, you never being alone. And that's just a really good representation of like you are um, engulfed in this beautiful light lineage, light worker lineage. That's what I'm getting from that. All right, and I'll pull also from these cards, this um, Oracle of Genetic Gifts. Since since we're getting that information, let's just go ahead and, and pull from this. This is giving off soul group, soul family also. Um, and so lessons, experiences would be similar or something like that within this, within soul group, soul tribe. Yes, soul group, soul tribe, and then we immediately get starseed energy. So it says empathetic, psychic, healer, and knows purpose. You're part of this. Well, that could look like a little seed. It looks like a womb to me, but, or, or something that encompasses a, a soul group. I have astrology, ancestral knowledge, along with Starcy. Jeez. Paternal side, spiritual gifts, wisdom, and inheritance from the father's line is popping out. It may be directly related to this, this clear cognizance. So a clear cognizance, a clear knowing there within you it feels like there would be a completion with compassionate action at this stage of a clear knowing of what you should or feel like you're being guided to do out of love also what is real what is right and then this one might and wow you got two clairs clear sentience clear feeling you may have gotten this from the father's line. It might just be because of being a star seed or being in a special group of souls here that has different types of abilities for your mission, for your light mission. Clear sentience, clear feeling. Okay. I have property, a property purchase, sale for many. Arrows, direction is yours to choose today. Your inner light guides the way. Achievement, like the curtain call, it says enjoy the limelight. You have earned it. Positive work outcomes. Consistent efforts will bring rewards and a major purchase is worth making. Some of you are, are going, to, going to buy property. That would be nice. Reinvent self. A transformation is taking place. So enjoy a new lease on life and you're wishing well so make some wish magic it says and cast this spell throw pennies in the wishing well or a cleanse when you feel heavy or run out of luck go swim at the beach and you'll feel unstuck from the fairies thank you fairies maybe you feel a connection to elementals or fairies i don't know you might all different kinds of soul groups out there oh wow and that number came out yesterday didn't it so 44 i'm supported know that your angels are guiding you at this time continue with your path that you're being um divinely guided on know that you're protected and supported so affirmation for master number 44 is i am supported 26 i am tactful it says your desire to succeed is kind of like fueled when you also encompass that with the greater good of all and you know how to be nice to people you know how to do things gently 
how to come across. You know how to get something done without stepping on a bunch of toes, you know. And I have 19. I'm a pioneer. Independence and self-sufficiency are necessities to you. You are extremely capable in life and work. And you aren't afraid to take the big risk to achieve the life that you desire. 19. So beautiful uh, messages for my Selective Collective. Thanks for joining me tonight. I hope that your rest of your weekend goes really good. Sending you light and love. Bye.